Welcome back to the channel. If you've been keeping up with me, you know the next order of business is getting the alternator bracket on the engine and getting the engine in the truck, hopefully for the last time. We're gonna look and see how much clearance we've got around our steering. We put the manual steering box on last week. So let me take you over here to the table. We looked at this last week, but we're gonna check our belt, make sure this is the right belt that goes with this bracket. This is the ICT billet truck high mount alternator kit. And as well as doing this, I'm also going to install this ATP flex plate. And I bought this flex plate because the spacer is already made to the flex plate. Now there's, they make those rings that you slide in here. I've heard a lot of people that have had bad problems with those. If you haven't, let me know in the comments below, but I, I chose this one because it's already made to the flex plate. And what I, I you notice my torque converter is turned upside down. And the reason I did that is if you watch Sean from Mountain's Garage, he has a good point that you need to check your flex plate to torque converter clearance to make sure you don't have any issues. And as you can see, my flex plate sits right down on the pads of my torque converter. So I know that this is not going to hang up uh, under the truck or bind in any way. And then, of course, we've got some ARP torque converter bolts. We're going to get those on. So let me get started. I'm going to take the engine off the engine stand. We're going to put the flex plate on, get it torqued, and then I'll set the engine inside the truck and I'll turn you back on so you can see the clearance. We'll put the, um, we'll see how the fitment is for the brackets as well as the belt. So let me get you set up and we'll get started. You would think as many times as I've had that engine in and out, I would have just dropped it in there and slid the bolts in, but that's not always the case. Getting to our bracket kit, you can see from the instructions, you've got, it's gonna call out a 1.92 inch spacer and a 1.57 spacer, and you can tell the difference in the lengths. So you've got four longs and four shorts. You've also got two long bolts, two medium sized bolts, I guess you'd call it, and then your alternator bolts are over here. But these are the, um, you've got some M10 by 160, and then you've got M10 by 80, and M10 by 120. So these are the M10 by 160, the M10 by 120, and then your alternator bolts will be the shorter ones at the M10 by 180. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this whole bracket together and slide it on the truck. And you would think that your ICT billet emblem here would be on the front, but it's not, it's actually on the back. So what you're gonna do in these four locations right here is install your long bushings, put your plate on top, and these two recesses that you see here and here, you're gonna put your pulley spacers. That's where they're going to go. Your serpentine pulley, your ribbed pulley will go to the top. Your smooth idler pulley will go to the bottom. These are actually both idler pulleys. They don't. And then your 
two long bolts. Put your washers on there, drop them through. So, and then our other two bolts go through here, and we get all those picked up and on the truck, I'll slide these other four in there. So I'll get you set up over here and we'll get this finished up. Okay, there it is. The ICT billet alternator bracket in all its glory and all the clearance that we have. We don't have to worry about any more power steering pulley issues. So this is the right belt. I used a Gates belt. The one that uh, ICT billet calls out in their notes, the parts store didn't have. So O'Reilly crossed it over to this one. Um, for you guys that don't know, if you look on top of your tensioner, you can see this line lines up with here. Then you've got another line here and another line here, and it lets you know what the tension is on your belt. And as it starts to wear and turn, you'll know how much wear is on your belt. But that belt looks and feels really good. It's tight, so looks like we're done. Um, as always, I'll leave the part number to the belt, the bracket kit, and the flex plate that I used in the description below. Thanks for stopping back in. I hope uh, this video was helpful to some of you guys. If you like what you see, hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe before you leave. Catch you guys in the next video.